Hello there everyone, and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mulcover, and right now we need to talk about the end of the Saints. Over the last several weeks, our agents have been confiscating Christian artwork to eventually destroy, of course. This has been done in an effort to impede teachings of saints whose very existence in Christian teaching goes against the national daddiest worldview. Without artwork to inspire the people, it will be easier to stifle Christianity further in the future. There are probably some remaining. Probably, but let's continue with uh, stuff over here. With And we already did Crackdown on Dissidents, but let's go with Replace the Cross. Instead of crosses, German churches will feature the party and the ideological symbols. This is essential in making national daddyism the dominant religion in Germany. Very good. We do have a couple of comments to go through. Even though I can't address all the comments, uh, but we will go through a few of them. Such as, someone recommends that the next time we do this, I should be a little bit more careful with the MEFO bills. I absolutely agree with that. Destroy the church at the start, or very soon to the start, which I also agree with. And prioritize the economy, which I also agree with as well. Yeah. Um... This is my first campaign in Combat for the Storm, and we did really, really well as a Reich. Whenever we come back to this, because I do want to come back to playing as Germany in this certain with a certain ideology, um, I understand how to play and be a little more effective in knowing what to do and prioritizing which focuses we should really do, especially after we win a lot of the wars. But I'll definitely come back to this mod, or at least this type of campaign. This, you know, this path for this campaign. When, if, when or if it gets an update, because I really want to see Reich's Commissariat's form in the very far east. Because if you're playing a certain this certain path, <laughs> you got to have the RKs. you got to have the Reich's Commissariat. But anyways, um, someone recommends we also try the Bardia Commune and go totalist with either Bose or Boza and or Gandhi. So I actually really would like to play the Bardia Commune. I haven't been able to do so yet, but I would really like to. It just, you know, it's always a matter of time. I, do we have enough time to do this? Do we not have enough time? So, that's the biggest reason why I have not done them yet. But I am very interested in playing as them. Either in Kaiser Redux or Kaiser Reich, either one. So, oop, artillery upgrade, great. Even though it doesn't really matter to us at this point. And I've done nothing for support equipment, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Cool. And we can only get 1.09 political power every single day, but replace preachers with Reich orators. Instead of preachers and pastors rewarding the word of God, Orators from our propaganda ministry will read the word of the party. Sounds pretty good. And overall, we've demobilized a whole bunch here, and we're actually at still point two two point eight three million manpower, even though we're only on limited conscription. So I think we've done very very well. Obviously, it is forty six. We've got a lot of recruitable population, you know, every month or so. But unfortunately, we still cannot build things. So I think at the end of this, I'm going to go ahead and try to get all of these things done, just to see if anything happens. So let's go through all the focuses, and we'll see what happens. I think that'd be okay. Ooh, and we still can make a lot of SS divisions, which would be a lot of fun, but we don't really need them. And the Spanish diplomatic alignment, I'm not sure why this is still here, just because they're still part of the the Axis. So, yeah, we were, we've, we've done pretty darn well for ourselves. Parts of the Middle East, I mean, if this was like real life, they would come under our sphere of influence. Oh, the Chinese United Front, look at that. Oh, they're still kind of formed. That's all right, though. And let's do that one. Our agents have gone around Germany forcing churches and individuals to take down the cross and replace them with swastikas. This will ensure that national daddyism is present in every aspect of people's lives, now including the spiritual realm. Although not the most radical change in our plan, this is a very important step and potentially one of, one of the most risky. There can't be any crosses remaining in secret, right? We lose stability and more fascism support? It is what it is. But let's go ahead and read about and publications of the Bible. While not yet an official ban on the Bible itself, it will make its distribution a crime on the level of treason. Wow. A change in leadership. Under the cover of night, Gestapo agents have arrested a large number of clerics who have not yet subordinated their churches to the Reich. They have been replaced by the SS-trained Reich orators who will focus on teaching loyalty to the state instead of Christianity itself. Of course, Christianity will be covered but slowly phased out. But will people trust their new shepherds? Then we'll find the dissident clerics. We must increase our efforts of clerics who resist our efforts. Crackdown on the Bible. In a combined Nessus Gestapo cripple operation, publications of the Bible have been effectively shut down. The book's existence is detrimental to our efforts, reminding people of the word of God and drawing them away from our propaganda. While we have not explicitly banned the book itself yet, it is hoped that our message is clear. No new Bibles will be made. There have been rumors of underground operations. Oh boy, that is not very good, but we'll have a new good book, you know? 
Hitler's Mein Kampf, the main source of Hitlerist ideology, shall be the new book of our Reich orators read from, not the Bible. I just replaced the Bible with a uh, Mein Kampf or, you know, Mein Kampf 2. Actually, I didn't know, there's actually six things down here. Air superiority? Uh, let's look at that real quick. We can. I know research doesn't really matter at this point in the game, but uh, Pathfinder group, not bad. Nighttime strategic bombing penalty. Of course, we have key point bombing, but we also have, uh, what was this, naval mission efficiency, naval strike torpedo tactics, more efficiency. Ground support integration, not bad. As well as Bomber Ace Initiative. Not bad, not bad. And of course we have Strategic Destruction. And this one down here as well, Forward Interception. Very cool. But, uh, we're still going to keep plowing through this. We need more than... Ooh, 900, that's a long time, 900 days. Makes sense. A little, more, a little less than 3 years. Actually, that's not too bad. Three, less than 3 years for something like that? That's actually not too bad, so... Not too shabby. But we have a little bit of that a little bit left. And... Minus 221 can be used for trade. Whoa, man. I really wish there was a way we could get rid of bankruptcy. Or, or at least have it like a modifier telling us, oh, it'll be gone eventually. Or economic stimulus will be gone. So I really wish there was a way to get rid of that. But the new book. The Gestapo have been working on finding dissident clerics who have escaped our early replacement operations. These clerics uh, will have, have hidden admirably well, either with the faithful or with the anti-regime resistance cells. Our domestic enemies have banded together in their opposition to our authority. However, most of them could not escape our clutches. We are prevailing. Wait, the numbers don't match up. Let Christianity die out. We've taken the necessary steps to ensure that the belief in God and Jesus Christ will die out within the next couple of decades. The Bible replaced. Although the Bible is no longer being printed or distributed, the book was still being used in churches across the country. Our Reich orators have been given copies of the good old book, Mein Kampf, and have been ordered to begin reading from that instead of the Bible. They've been gun doing this with zealous valor, and it is hoped that we would win some new converts. The gullible will be ours. Awesome, awesome. We have still only have 89%. Party popularity, but that's okay. Combined. And then we're going to let Christianity die out for now. And we're going to probably do... Let's do Bavarian projects, because that is... Bavaria is an interesting place. München, Bayreuth, Welsberg, and Weimar will be constructed anew to represent the power of the Reich and Bavaria and Thuringia. And it seems like we, there's no events for these, it's just decisions. So we'll probably go through these all together once they're all done. And Köln, Dusseldorf, Heidelberg, Münster, Saarbrücken, Waldbrühl, and... Wuppertal are also in need of reconstruction with Hanover projects. Bremen, Hanover, and Oldenburg should be constru reconstructed to support German shipping and naval efforts and the Nordstern project. Nordstern, German for North Star, will be a fortress city in Norway colonized by Germans and replace Trondheim in terms of importance. Prussian projects. Breslau, Danzig, Königsberg, Memel, and Posen. <clears throat> Russian lands with much historical meaning to the German people will be recreated in the national socialist style. But the program program has been complete. Now that we have finished implementing the third 30-point plan, we can end our efforts for the time being. Rosenberg himself is content to watch Christianity die out, although some are concerned that people will continue to congregate in secret, while the Fuhrer has hoped for slightly faster results. Well, we tried. And which we'll read a few more focuses, and then we'll go through some of the older focuses. Not older focuses. But, uh, looking through some of these decisions when they do appear. And we'll go through them and probably complete them. Prussian projects, yes, good. And Saxon projects. The Dresden will also be done in the National Social Style. Although near Berlin, the Germania project is vital enough to consider them to be separate projects. Austrian projects. Other than Linz, Salzburg, Innsbruck, and Graz will be constructed. Other than them. Yeah, okay, cool. And the Pops plan. Conceived by Friedrich Paps, the new German city of Warsaw will be a completely rebuilt city in what is now Warsaw, with the sole purposes of being a transportation hub and a seat for the general government's ruling elite, even though we never formed the general government, and the Prague project. The Prague will be entirely remade into a truly national socialist style city to show the power of the Reich over its territory. Very, very good. And here we're at everyone, so I finished off all six of these so far, but let's do Austrian projects next. and. When Slowly, we're going to go read through all of these different ones that we have available to us, because we can. And they're actually kind of, you know, flavorful. So we can do all of these, and we'll get to them in just a little bit. But, Bavarian projects. Build the Partei Museum. As a capital of the National Socialist Movement, München will be given a party museum to show the people the early days of the German Workers' Party. And the fledgling NSDAP, of course. Propaganda and lies will be infused throughout, yet her aim is not to tell the truth, but to overwhelm the Volk with her might. And the Luftwaffe Strasse. 
<clears throat> Air Force Street will be a gra grand half-kilometer long avenue in the center of München, in the style of the Prash Tali in Berlin. It will be decorated by statues of German aces, and in the center there will be a gazebo with an authentic Messerschmitt BF-109 inside it. This will show the people the power of our Air Force, and build the Reichsflughafen Hemmen Göring. The Hemmen Göring Imperial Airport will be a major hub for Germans wishing to tour the Fatherland, but also be available to be used for military purposes. Such a project may be inconvenient, but we will have the power to build it anyways. Named after the civil, the chief of the Luftwaffe, the airport will be adorned with a giant portrayal of the Reich Minister of Aviation's propaganda to remind people exactly who won the war in the air, and remodel the Festspielhaus. National daddiest leaders love the annual Bayreuth Festival, in which composer Richard Wagner is celebrated for his genius. However, the Richard Wagner Festival Theater could do with some remodeling, which is very true. Redoing it in the national social style would connect Germany's imperial past to its current national socialist present, making it effective propaganda. And build the Gau Forum. The Gau Forum will be a governmental building combined with a marching square. It will symbolize the power of the national socialists in the town will occasionally feature military marches. This is especially significant due to Bayreuth's proximity to the Sudetenland and the protectorate of Bohemia Moravia. And build the Rijksmuseum. Housed with a Wurzburg residence, a grand palace in Wurzburg, the Imperial Museum shall showcase the lifestyle and power of an old German king. It reminds people that although we have surpassed the powers of the old empire, the new empire has a different mindset than the decadence and wealth, at least officially, and expand the Festungs Marienburg. The Marienburg fortress shall be expanded to serve as an arms depot for the army. It will house surplus equipment and a trading site, and rename the city. The name Weimar is tainted in the National Socialist view because of its association with the former republic. Therefore, it will renamed Franz Liszt Stadt. Franz Liszt Stadt? Like, as in Franz Liszt, like the composer? Cool. And the Bob's plan. And let's go ahead and do some of the technology, just because I don't want to be uh, bothered with it very soon. So, I mean, it's, it's fine with us. <clears throat> Build a new Wehrmacht HQ. Köln is the seat of the Militärbereichshauptkommandoquartier, a military area commander HQ for the Münster Military District. However, with the construction of a new Grand HQ, Köln will be the new military capital of Austria and Germany. Build a monument. A monument to the fallen of the war will serve to remind the people of those who sacrificed everything for a Reich and to instruct the people to do the same. Cool. And since we're here anyways, go do that one too. Awesome, awesome. And the Arbeiter Museum. The Museum of Other Workers will showcase German industrial might in a place where people can appreciate their labors and make their lives possible. It will be full of national socialist propaganda and lies, but as long as nobody thinks to check further, we should be undetected. Build a party HQ. Dusseldorf shall become the seat of the party headquarters in northwestern Germany. Train a build a train depot. Heidelberg already has excellent infrastructure. We should build a train depot there to serve western and central Germany. Build a new Wehrmacht headquarters. While Münster is currently the HQ of the 6th military district, a new large military headquarters will make it the headquarters for the Wehrmacht in the northwest Germany, even including Holland. The plebiscite memorial. Saarbrücken came back to Germany in a plebiscite, and we should build a new memorial to commemorate the occasion. Build the Volkstraktorwerke. Envisioned by Dr. Robert Ley, the national tractor plants will bring workers to Val which will serve his intention of making Waldbrö a large city and build a Reich Church HQ. Wuppertal will become the regional seat of the Reich's evangel evangelical church. From here, it would serve all of Western and Central Germany. This is meant to overshadow the Christian resistance in the city. In which Hanover projects build the Panzer Museum. The P Hanover Museum of Tanks will show off the power of the German war machine and point out the inferiority of captured enemy machines, despite the fact that captured enemy tanks are also somewhat superior. But they don't need to know that for now. Bremen the, build the Kriegsmarine Museum. The Naval Museum will showcase the Reich's overseas power and celebrate its triumphs over larger enemy navies and convoys and build the Heinz Rurke Strasse. A, a proud son of Oldenburg, Heinz Rurke is a German fighter ace who shot down 63 aircraft at night. Wow. He definitely deserves a promotion in his own reconstructed street in Oldenburg. Very nice. Um, there's a lot more here, but I, I'll go ahead and let you read them if you'd like to. So, expand the ports. Housing projects, work for immigrants, we love immigrants here, expand the Atlantic Wall, connect Nordstern to the Autobahn, and build the Nord Museum, and as we autosave. Happy 1948, by the way. Build the Hugo von Polstrasse, build a potting headquarters, Posen build a Wehrmacht HQ, Festung Konigsberg, Memel build a trade center, and Dresden remodel the Munich Platz, Munich Platz. and Salzburg build the Mozart Festspiel, very cool, uh, Innsbruck a monument for the Anschluss, and Graz build the Heiliges Romanisches Romisches Reich Museum. Oh, very nice. Build a home for the elite, of course, of course. Build a Partei Volkshalle, and build a new train depot. Not bad. And we still have the shoot stuff interactions, but all this, obviously, all this stuff doesn't really mean too much. Um, actually, cool. 
and we should have this one done within about 10 days. Not too bad, it's just a little laggy. I might go off screen just like straight up annex everybody else just because we can. Uh, just make it a little bit faster. Yeah, mm, we'll see what happens. Definitely just because there's a lot of different states still alive and... Oh, Yemen is demilitarized. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Anything else here? Uh, fighters would be nice, but we can't make too many of them. Kind of sucks. Kind of really sucks. And do we actually really name Warsaw eh, for the project? And I'll see you uh, in just a little bit after we go and look at this stuff. Uh, let's see. No shall. Yes, the Prague plan. Build a Wehrmacht headquarters and build a party headquarters as well. All right, everyone. So, but happy 1951. We're actually in a new decade right now. And apparently China is justifying on like pieces of Chi uh, the Raj or something, but I don't really care. So we finished off most of these already, but we can do rename Berlin. Now that the major renovations are done, we can rename Old Berlin to a more fitting title, Germania. And it actually does switch, which is cool. And we're finishing up Build the Hitler Center. The Hitler Center will be the grand cultural center of the Reich. It shall contain community buildings for both Volksgemeinschaft and Unity, which I think is great. And get more daily political power. Now, <clears throat> I had used Council Commands to get to this point, but... Oh well. And apparently we had a max cap of 800 political power, so... <clears throat> I, uh, I thought that was a little weird, but oh well. And, and let's get this one done. Yeah, I've, I've just been l just letting the uh, Hoi 4 run in the background, basically. Just trying to get this stuff done. It's taking so long. I've done, been doing this for about a thousand days of in-game time. Not in real life time, that'd be insane. But I think that'll be it for us here. There's nothing left. But if you enjoyed the video, video and campaign, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And recommend me in the, dis in the comments other nations we should try out in this mod. Because I would really like to try it some other nations sometime. But thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.